Okay, I'm coming into the barn and Max is in here collecting eggs. He's got some good eggs. <laughs> he's already been to the outside areas and he's picked those up. But I came in to see the piggies. This Miss Piggy, uh -huh, Buttons, got out of her cage today. A lot of times when Dima feeds them, he leaves this gate open because they follow him with the food. But today, she decided to go exploring out on the yard. And she didn't want to come back in here. Molly, no. And so, we had to bring out little boy, the pig herder, to help her get back into her cage. And once she realized he was going to harass her until she was back in her safe space, she went. Now you can see she is really big. Her father was porky. Very big, so, yep, she's a big girl, and probably in a week or two we'll be selling her along with Lulu. Now, we tried to take uh, five male piglets uh, to the bazaar on Sunday, but we had an air raid alert, and we had some hits close by, so the roads were all closed, and we didn't really want to be out on the roads anyway, so we brought them back in. Oh, I don't know if you can see it, but this little, this is like a little nipple with a um, pipe that's for water, and the piglets have learned to get water there. They actually have a bowl there that they're drinking out of, but they're discovering that they can get it through that little spigot as well. So anyway, we went to go sell the piglets, and we weren't able to do that. So this Sunday, we'll get up at 4 o'clock in the morning, Dima and I again. We'll get Pastor Sergey and go to the bazaar in Turbov, uh, be there about 5 o'clock, hopefully sell five of the piglets, and bring back a little boar. Now we have, out of these piglets, we have five boys and four girls. So we've decided we're going to keep the girls. Oh, see, Mama's drinking there. <laughs> and a couple of them are coming up to get some of the drink in there. It's amazing how quick they learn. She loves to slurp down the water. And she usually makes a mess. Yes, you do, Miss Mama. Miss Lulu. And you can tell that she's gotten a little bit skinny after having her babies and feeding them. So we will let, give her a week or two to pump back up a little bit. And for her mammary glands down there to dry up. But some of these little piglets you can see. I think, yeah, that's one of the normal ones. There's one that's really big. Haha, <laughs> yeah, so you can kind of see how big they're getting. Usually, I kind of separate them um, at about six weeks and then let them feed on the start formula, which helps them grow, uh, and then we go sell them. Uh, but this time, we're just going to leave them an extra week with her. So I don't know if you can see the size difference. Like this one here is huge huge and then you've got one that's a little bit smaller and the one that's much smaller there so anyway we're going to keep the four girls and it used to be that they could all pile into the corner of the box there and only be a third of the area but now they fill that whole box up in layers hi hi guys okay buttons quit pulling at my pants back there behind me Hi, but see how curious they are? They want to come and see. Hi. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Huh? Oh, I thought this was water over here, but it's actually their specialty feed. There's two places. Oh, yeah, there's another place over there. Yeah. So that means that they can kind of split up and they can eat, but, oh, I'm, I'm happy to see that they're eating a lot of that feed because that gives them all sorts of vitamins and minerals, and it helps them grow. That one back there... It is a chunk. Yeah, you're a chunk. Mm -hmm. You can see how that middle one is a little bit smaller, but still good sized. I think the smallest one is back over there. You see the little one. And even though they were born and they all looked even in size, you know, as they grow, they're a little bit different. And some people think the little ones are never going to get big, but we've kept some of them. And they've grown really good and been really good pigs for us. So it may just be competition, and they're a little bit smaller and weaker, and so they get to eat last. But that's why we've got the feed in two places. But this one is small, but it is not skinny. Yeah. And part of it is also the breed. So the this what Mama is is what we call a big white. 
and they're really long. But then we've got this other breed over here, which is the spotted porky, which is very stocky, very stocky, very broad, you see. So in the piglets here, you can see that the spotted ones are much bigger, more stocky. That's what kind of why we like that breed. But the white ones, so there is a bigger white one there. They tend to get a little bit longer than fat, than long, than fat. Yeah. Well, oh, here's a good example. That's not one of the bigger piglets there, but you can see the size difference. So anyway, we've decided to keep four girls, and when we sell the boys, uh, we're going to buy another boy. Um, and so these piglets will grow up while we're gone, and they'll be a breeding age probably a month or two after we get back. And so um, we'll be able to continue our pig uh, ministry <laughs> and, and the feed. One of the things that we're having to think about is while we're gone, there's not going to be any feeding of the homeless. There's other organizations that are doing that, so they're not, you know, left without any resources while we're not feeding. Um, but it's just too much for the long period. And a lot of times in the summer, we stop occasionally. Not every summer. But uh, us being in America, it's just divided resources. And so even though we've got places to live and cars to use, there'll be other expenses, you know, that we're going to have to incur. And we just want to make sure that everything is taken care of. So uh, the feeding ministry will stop for the summer. But when we come back, we're going to need a meat. And that's why they'll handle the 100 broiler chicks is what we're hoping to get. And... Uh, Probably when we come back, we'll go ahead and get rabbits and get them breeding. But piglets won't be until the next time. What is she doing over there? Wiggling her little butt. See, of course, now they're... Okay, we hear you. She's announcing she's going to go lay her egg. Yep, Miss Show Off there. Oh, I made you nervous. See, right there is a hen. And is there any other ones up here? No. Nope. Shoot. Nice box. No. So we've got nine boxes. Three, three, and three above the pigs. Oh, check this out. <laughs> How big these piglets are. There's still two that are not in here. But that's their whole pen. So they've gotten really big. Buttons, please stop. She doesn't like that I'm ignoring her. Sweetie girl. Huh? Sweetie girl. Yeah. Oh, she's a happy girl. Yeah, I know. I need to get the brush out and brush you. Yeah, I need to brush you. You got some dry skin here. Yeah, in the winter they kind of get dry skin because we have to keep the door shut because of keeping the place warm. But they are warm. They are warm. Their ears get a little bit cool. Hers are cool. But her body is warm. And it's warm in here. Yeah. Oh, so the girl came back. She's up there squawking. I really like, I think this is called the Rochester breed. I really like them. They give good eggs. The shells aren't weak. Um, they're just good breeding chickens. And I've tried to get them throughout the years, but it's kind of been hard. But I found a place, and I, I, they're starting to have them more often. So, anyway, that's an update in the barn. The boar's barn is... Uh, empty, and it will be until it gets a little warmer and we can move the new male piglet over there. Yeah, oh, her tail is going. You know, one of the things that pigs do that I really dislike, and she's doing a little bit here, is grinding her teeth. I don't know if we can hear her. Oh, she stopped. They kind of do it when they're excited, when they're getting ready to eat. Um, but, oh my goodness, it's hard on the ears. Yeah. But they're actually pretty clean animals. They eat. Her feed dish there uh, is pretty spotless. It's just kind of old. Yeah, but it's pretty spotless. She's cleaned it all. And they tend to poo in one spot and then pee in one spot. So the only time they really get dirty is when they get really hot and they need the mud and muck to keep them cool. So in the summer, when it gets really hot in here, um, We'll come spray them down and make sure that they stay cool. But you see, she's she's really thick compared to 
Miss Lulu, who's much skinnier but much longer. Mm -hmm. Anyway, all right, all right, Miss Chicken, I'm leaving. You can come in and lay your egg. Oh, there's another one. Yep. So back outside. Oh, she's going to lay down. Oh, down she goes. And see, she's got that, they do this when they're pregnant or when they have piglets. They lay down very slowly so that the piglets have a chance to get out, of, out from underneath them. And she really fooled us. We thought she was pregnant, but not. Okay, outside. Kind of chilly today, but the guys are working on putting on the rest, putting in the rest of this fence, and the metal window sills will be painted um, and put in, and they'll be that same color. Yeah, but looking really good. And I've already got a lot of irises here and some flowering bushes, um, and I just did stuff that could handle being stepped on and all that until we get all this construction done. And then we're gonna fill it in with some more dirt and then I'll add different uh, plants. This right here is a, a way that we can turn off the water that leads from the uh, tank room underground, which is under the pavilion, out into the garden. So if we know that we've got freezing weather or we've got a leak or something, because the trellises have soaker hoses, the raspberries have soaker hoses, the currants back here have a soaker hose, this flower garden has a soaker hose, Oh, and the strawberries over there have a soaker hose, and then the fruit trees will have a soaker hose. The soaker hose is input, and Mark just has to finish some of the connections. Yep. Um, well, it looks like they're getting ready to go cut down raspberries. Uh, our neighbors, uh, after Ophia died, uh, her grandson has this raspberry farm here. And so it looks like they're getting ready to yeah, pull off the strings, cut down the canes. See, we've already cut down our four, row, four rows of canes here. Yep. Miss Molly's checking them out. Are they a threat to us? <laughs> so if we go into the pavilion, it's really cool now because we have all the plastic off. Um, there's screens on every window. Um, there's screens on the doors, but they have to put on the two doors. And um, Oh, I hope I've not been covering up the mic. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, Mark uh, kind of wants to do a change to the screen doors a little bit and make them a little bit better, but it's just so nice in here. Kind of blocks the wind, um, the sun comes in. These are the metal uh, windowsills that have been kind of scuffed up and sealed, and they're going to get painted when Mark can get a day where there's no wind. There's quite a bit of wind today. And we have the windowsills, wooden windowsills in now, here. So the only thing we're not going to get done in here before we leave is the floor, which may be a year or two because tile for all this is going to be a little expensive. And then the fencing that they're putting on the outside will also have on the inside. And that's why there's a lot of grass here is the fencing will go there. But you can probably see the little piglets there will be peeking through the fence. Yeah. But a lot of the uh, animals that we painted are up above the fence so they'll be easy to see like the little even the little frog here yeah but in putting in some of the things they kind of scuff things up so I'm kind of waiting for them to finish everything in here and then I'm going to go and touch up and one of the first windows they did some damage um, which I'll have to touch up but I've kept all the paints yeah. So this area has had, had sand and gravel for all our construction, and so they're having trouble getting the fencing in. But it's going to look so good. You want to come talk, Mark? Share a little bit?